Folks at home, the reality of the situation has unfolded in ways that we thought weren't possible as Techland has decided to finally, just seven days until the launch of Dying Light 2, pull that curtain back and in a way, that makes sense as we now have a better look, better understanding of how Dying Light 2 performs on old generation consoles. And I'll tell you right here and right now, folks, I am surprised to see this running on 2013 hardware and in this way is actually really cool. And it helps a lot of people understand where they sit if people are playing on old generation consoles, whether or not to keep that pre-order locked in or to maybe say, hey, let's wait until reviews. That's the reality of the situation. We're still going to go in cautiously optimistic, but let me tell you right here and right now, it is so incredibly amazing to see the devs over at Techland hit that home run and do so in a way that makes sense.